there. So it's kind of been a little while. Oops. Yeah, didn't really mean for that to happen, but there hasn't really been much that I've been wanting to make a video about recently. However, uh, I have been getting kind of into zines and zine culture, so I kind of wanted to show you um, my very quickly growing collection of zines. Uh, if you don't know what a zine is, it's basically is a very, very simple definition. Uh, self-published, very short books. It's essentially all they are. Um, they can be really, really thin. They can be, you know, really small or like half a sheet of paper, large. Just depends on the individual artist. And they can be about pretty much anything that you want. They can be about politics, they can be about your life experiences, they can be short stories, collections of poetry, even just art or pictures of random things that you find on the floor that you decided to put together into a book. Anything at all that would not be able to be traditionally published, you can absolutely make a zine out of. And I have absolutely fallen in love with this genre. I've always been a writer and I've always enjoyed seeing the creative things that people come up with to make stories about or that they just tell about. So without further ado, let's get into my collection. And by the way, I'm going to try and put like all of these artist information like down in the description. Don't hold me to that. I'll try and show you like the backs of their zines and stuff so that you can actually see the information in case I forget. <laughs> So very first, this is my very first zine that I bought and it is called Burnt Out. It is this really pretty lilac color. There's the back. The artist is Batmoons. Here is their business card which has a bat on it. And there we go. So this one is how to cope with autistic burnout. And it is just some basically uh, self-care habits that you can have uh, for any sort of neurodivergency, really. I know that I'm neurodivergent, I just don't know what flavor, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Uh, so this is really comforting and really nice. And they binded it with like embroidery thread. A lot of zines uh, just bind with staples, like they'll buy a long arm stapler and they'll just put them together that way. But some of them do like sew them together. And this is one of them, and it's really cool. Alright, so these next two, I ran my chair into my desk. The next two are actually from the creator that introduced me to zines, so how they weren't first, but she's really, really cool and she's actually a YouTuber here, so I'll try to remember to put her link down in the description. She's way more popular than me, so you've probably already heard of her, maybe. But the very first one is The World is Hard, So I Am Soft. She also introduced me to the concept of radical softness, which is what this is about. But yeah, it's just really sweet sort of theme. I was first introduced to the idea of radical softness through the art of queer femmes. Stop holding it inside, let it go. Radical softness is just about like uh, taking control of the narrative of like being too emotional, too soft, and turning it into a radical idea, you know, that you should want to be soft, like that sort of thing. I explained that very terribly. And then the second one is Retail Hell. Hell. And it's just their, her experience as like a cashier at a store and it's just a comic and some text. It's really nice. I really like this scene. It's really li relatable if you've ever like been a cashier or worked in retail period. That's a really relatable one. And she binds hers uh, by sewing them. Like she just lays them out flat and sews them, which is a really cool way of doing it. She didn't do that with this one, she just stapled it. Okay. So the next one I actually have quite a few 
of her zines. Uh, these are really nice. And they are all just really soft and really sweet. This one is Affirmations for Radical Self-Love. A little book of affirmations. Friendships as resistance, creating communities of care, and pink. And this one is probably my favorite. It's just about the author's like relationship with pink and color and it being gendered and just, you know, growing to love pink despite its gender affiliations sort of thing. Here is their business card. Let me see. There you go. Now you can read it. But yeah, go and check her out for sure. Her, them, I'm not quite sure. And I think it's her, I think. Right. The next is actually a creator that I absolutely adore. And I posted these on uh, like my Instagram story, so you may have seen these before, but it's just really cool. So first one is Pink Flamingos, a short story. This one is really, really funny. It's just about this yard full of pink flamingos. I don't know. You just have to read it to understand. And there's their information. Craft or DIY. This one is everybody wants a pen pal, but no one wants to be a pen pal, you know? No, you can't read the back. There we go. And this is just about how to be a pen pal, basically. And I've always wanted a pen pal. I have not ever gotten one, though. And this makes me want to do it even more. And then the last one is Lakes Aren't Blue on self-compassion in tough times. And yeah, it's just stuff that I, like, really need to hear sometimes. I don't know. I just really resonate with that. And then the last scene that I have from them, from Crafter DIY, is skin problems, or problems skin zine. And it's just about, you know, skin conditions and trying to get that into the body positivity movement and things like that. And this one is bound with embroidery thread as well. And yeah, this one is like a collective zine, so they got a bunch of people together to write about their experiences with their skin conditions and things. And yeah, I have eczema, so this was really nice, really nice read. I really appreciate it. And yeah, there's their information on the back. I really, really love this person, and I kind of want to order more zines from them. There's a few more that I don't have, and I need them. Alright, so this next one, I have a crap ton of theirs, but I cannot for the life of me remember what they are called. It's on Etsy. Uh, I'll be sure to like put the name somewhere and absolutely link them. I think it's like Sleep Through Kings or something. Anyway, these are mostly collage zines, and some that are like about like botanical arboreal nightmares. These are literally about plants that can kill. That is it. But it's like all of these are about and I absolutely love it. It is so fascinating. Like there's some I'm trying to get it to where you can maybe read it. Maybe possibly. Maybe. Yeah, this one, Botanical Nightmares. Ah, oh, it is just so cool. The amount of research and information that this holds. I absolutely love it. And then besides these, I do have the more like collaging ones like this. And it's just oh, really cool. And then ones like this that have like stamps all over them. This one was for like saving the postal service whenever that was a kind of a scary reality that might happen. They're also made out of one piece of paper so sometimes they just attack me. 
Oh no, now it's all ruined. There we go. And this one was like about ice cream and it's just like collage pictures of ice cream and it's really cool. And then this one is Freak Show, EDS and Me and it's like circus performers that have EDS. Look how cool. God, it's so fascinating. Look at that. Look at that. One more page. Look at that. That is just insane. Anyway, I really like this creator. I'll definitely link them. And they're great. Okay, so this one, it came in like this little cardboard thing. This is actually too zoomed in here. It came in this little cardboard thing to protect them. And there's their information. Focus. There's their information, gross and colorful. And yeah, it's two different zines. I live across from a graveyard. This is like my favorite zine that I own. I adore this thing. And it's just so cool. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this art. It's got like ghost Pokemon on it and I love it. I hope you could see that because I couldn't see anything. And then this one is how to care for your haunted tarantula ter ter terrarium. Words, Andy. And yeah, it's really cool. Let me grab, this was for something, let me grab it. It was for this. So this is my little haunted terrarium. My little ghost friend in there. It is just so cool. I love this. It's so cute. And then you get a little zine to go with it. Like, what, could, what more could you ask for, honestly? All right, so this next set is uh, one where I'm really wanting to get more from this creator, from the zinester. I love these zines. So this first one is Kawaii Journaling. And it is just about Kawaii Journaling. Like, It's just really nice looking. Yeah, it's just like pages from their journal. All of their stuff is done on cardstock, which is a bit more difficult to deal with. Because it doesn't bend very easily, but it's fine. And then these two are Magical Girl. So they're like obviously very inspired by what was called Riot Girl in the 90s and it was kind of a series of zines that started this kind of style and they're just they're punk scenes basically so this one is like about magical girls it's got a playlist in here I don't know if you can read all of those and then it's got some cute illustrations like that. Things like that. I really like that page. And then the second one is just a continuation of that kind of thing. So it has, you know, this is very Riot Girl esque I think. And then things like, we want revolution girl style. I love it. I, j I love it. And yeah, here is their information, if it'll focus on this. This card is really cool, by the way. And the back of it has Puppo. I love it. <laughs> and then these I actually just got the other day. These are from Starly Art. And uh, I just love these. These are super cute. So this one is Emotions Are Weird. I love the tiny zines, I don't know why. This is my favorite. Look at him, mush. When you have too many feelings at once. That is me all the time. <laughs> Just ate your veggies. I swear. I love this. And yeah, there's their Gmail down at the bottom. And this one is I'm a magical girl. Can you tell that I like magical girl zines? This one is a little harder to look at, but 
I, I really like this aesthetic for some reason. This is like peak. Love it. And then going through the feels. This is a very personal zine. This is like just some of their experiences, things that they're going through like during the pandemic and things. And yeah, there's their information down at the bottom. I didn't get this on Gumroad, I got it on Etsy. All of these zines except for uh, the ones that came from the creator that introduced me to all of this, uh, I've gotten on Etsy. And then the very last few zines that I have, ooh, those are envelopes. Let's keep those over there. Those have my address on them, let's not reveal that. So, the very first one, these are by War Glitter, by the way. This is Zine in a Day. This is their very first scene, and it's about the story about this mermaid, and it's just really cute. They gave that one to me for free so that I would understand the character on the front of this one. This is Summer Solstice, a guide to, a guide to secular solstice celebrations and filling the long summer days. And yeah, it's just like information about the solstice and like, things to do, like redneck slip and slide, uh, lightning bug crafting. It's cute. It's really cute. And then War Glitter. And this is like their introductory sort of zine. This one's pretty thick. Like, can you tell? It's pretty thick. It's quite a few pages. It's 21 pages. That's long for a zine. And there's... Their information there on the back that will focus on that and not on me. And then there is Winter Solstice, which is quite similar to the other one. And it has, you know, like just ways to deal with the solstice in winter. Then Spring Equinox. They didn't have one for the fall. Which surprised me. Hopefully they do one, maybe. But yeah, I really like the blue that they did this one on. And then the very last one that I have from them is possibly my favorite from them. And it's a Carly Rae Jepsen fanzine. Like, <laughs> I love this. They're like a uh, Mad Libs for Call Me Maybe. And then there is basically their like zine manifesto on the very back of it. And I don't know, I really like these. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, that is all of the zines that I have purchased. As you can probably tell, considering how long this video has gotten, oops, uh, this has become a very big hobby of mine. I really, really like scenes a lot part of my shirt's peeling <laughs> Oops. Uh, I've tried to write a couple myself but I'm not very good at it like I have this one and I don't know if anybody would be interested in reading it but it's like about relating to Buddy the Elf and feeling a lot like Buddy the Elf and I don't know I don't know if anybody would want to read this I don't know. This is my favorite page. How not to be Miles Flinch. I think that's, I think it's funny how I wrote that. But that's just me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like zines? Are you going to try and find some? Are you going to buy any of these from these zinesters? If you are interested, let me know uh, down in the comments. And if you've never heard of zines before, then welcome. Enjoy the content. Uh, I've ordered some more zines tonight, actually, since I just got paid. So you might be expecting a couple more zine videos, like hauls and reviews and stuff. And like more in-depth information about certain zinesters. Maybe if that might be interesting to people. I don't know. If it is, let me know. Because I like zines a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, maybe with more Care Bears content soon, if my stupid Walmart could actually get something in stock. Who knows, we'll see. 
uh yeah that's all i have for now so bye bye